At the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. From the letter to the Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11. Let us kneel or stand wherever we are now to honor Jesus and welcome him in our midst. Jesus, King of Kings, God of goodness,
God of love. God of mercy. I adore you. I love you. I thank you. And I glorify you. Jesus is the King of Kings and hence he has his rightful throne. In fact, he has many thrones. Jesus has his heavenly throne where he sits at the right hand of God the Father. His other throne is our heart where we receive him in the Eucharist. Our King on the cross, this too is His throne, the throne that provides our salvation, where Christ, our King, wore a crown of thorns while he willingly died for us. And finally, the monstrance, where we now see Jesus hidden in the Eucharist, the blessed sacrament where by faith we see our King on His throne. Jesus, 
my King. Let us slowly repeat these words. Slowly and prayerfully. Jesus, my King. 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 You are the King of my heart.
let us spend time now to assess our commitment to Christ the King today. If Christ is really King of my life, then He must be King over every part of my life. I must give Him sovereign power over my body, my thoughts, my heart, and my will. There should be no room for sin in my life. Let us ask Jesus now to wash away all iniquity from us. Whatever our temptations, our weaknesses, our sin let us acknowledge it now and lay it before him so that he might fill us with his grace Christ's kingship is one of humility and service. We need to follow his lesson of humble service. Hence, we are called to be a people who reach out to 
embrace friend or foe. A people who will endlessly forgive A people who will reach out in compassion to the poor and the marginalized. A people who will support one another in prayer. A people who will obey the law of love. In short, servant leadership is the model that Christ, our King, has given us. Pope Benedict said, But in what does this power of Jesus Christ, the King, consist? It is not the power of the kings or the great people of this world.
it is the divine power to give eternal life to liberate from evil to defeat the dominion of death It is the power of love that can draw good from evil. That can melt a hardened heart. the harshest conflict and kindle hope in the thickest darkness let us reflect on our king's divine power his power of love and think about how we can honor him by following his example of love Let us thank Jesus now for being here with us. Let us remember the many blessings bestowed on us. And let us thank him for his abundant graces he showers on us. And with joyful lips, wherever we are, let us stand up and hail Jesus, our King, singing his praises joyfully. Hail Jesus, you're my King. Hail Jesus, you're my King. Your life frees me to sing. Your life frees me to sing. I will praise you all my day. I'll praise you all my day. You're perfect in all your ways. You're perfect in all your ways. Hail Jesus.
Jesus, you're my Lord. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. I will obey your word. I will obey your word. I want to see your kingdom come. I want to see your kingdom come. Not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours be done. Glory, glory to the Lamb. Glory, glory to the Lamb. You take me into the land. You will take me into the land. We will conquer in your name. We will conquer in your name. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. And proclaim that Jesus reigns. Hail, hail, O Lion of Judah. Hail, hail, O Lion of Judah. God, whose will is that all people be saved and come to the knowledge of thy truth, send we, send we beseech thee, laborers into thy harvest, grant them the grace to speak thy word, trusting in thee. May thy message be heard by all and joyfully accepted, so that all nations may know thee, the one true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.
the divine praises all together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. us here at St. Jude. We wish you a blessed day and a happy feast of Christ the King. God bless you all.